What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about a farm that's actually become better, was previously nerfed, and uh, why you should do it, compared to like why you shouldn't do the chromatic sword and the jewel dagger and all of those items. Like as most people are probably aware of right now, like when the pre-patch for BFA came out, it was also a lot of uh, unobtainable items which are now obtainable again, like the Chromatic Sword. And everyone seems so hyped to farm the Chromatic Sword. People have put tens of hours into farming Chromatic Sword without making any gold. I personally didn't do any of the, uh, of the now obtainable items. I tried it for like 10 minutes total and I quickly gave up. And I went to look for different farms, like farms that used to be good but they got nerfed and um i was like maybe you're going to be good again right now like maybe they changed something with the whole scaling thing that made these farms viable again and this one in particular is really really good some of you guys might remember this farm it's known as frey island like the location is frey island right here in the uh, northern barrens and uh, we used to farm this spot so much back in the days Actually, when I did like uh, one of the gold cap series on Sylvanas, the, the majority of my gold for on Transmog came from this island. I sold for pr definitely 100k plus every single week from this farm alone. And that's because some of the m fastest selling Transmog pieces uh, and sets come from this island. Like the sell rate, if you guys are familiar with sell rate, normally Transmog items have a sell rate anywhere from like 0 0.01 to like 0 0.03, right? But it doesn't really normally go higher than that unless it's a fake sell rate. So the items on this island, they have a sell rate of like 0 0.04 and all the way up to like 0 0.12, depending on uh, when you check, right? Uh, so they sell extremely fast. They fly off the auction house. Why did it fly off the auction house? Well, it's, it's kind of slot box. Like you guys can take a look, look at this. It, uh, you look like a, like a sex slave with these items on, but they sell super popular items. And the sets that I'm talking about is the ceremonial set, like this one, ceremonial leather loincloth. You have the grisly items. This one, aboriginal, it kind of looked the same as the ceremonial, slightly different. And then you have uh, all the barbaric items. So they're really, really popular. When it comes to price, I've sold a lot of these for above 40,000 gold, but that was when I had like no competition for selling them, right? So due to the sell rate, if there's a low amount in the auction house or none on the auction house, you can pretty much set your own price because they're so popular that they will sell. However, now they're anywhere between 10,000 gold to like 25, 35,000 gold, depending on realm. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna make a lot of gold because they're gonna fly off the auction house. They are, however, not super hard to get, but you're going to get a lot of really, really bad loot while trying to get it. So basically, they drop off these mobs on Frey Island that I showed you guys. They drop off all these South Sea mobs. There's no point in killing the mobs on this ship right here because they're not, for some reason, they're not part of the uh, the hyper spawn. So don't care about the ship. So all you got to focus on is this small island, which is really, really easy to farm. However, when we farm it, we do it in a five-man group. It's not necessary to be five. It's just going to smoothen the process a bit. But as long as you uh, have a couple of people with you on this farm, it should give you uh, a couple of decent transmog items uh, in a one-hour farming session. So definitely go into uh, pre-med groups like Startup Farm. Go into my Discord, look for people, grab a couple of friends. And go out, kill these mobs, and hope that you get one of the uh, the sets. I'm also going to list the name of the sets down in the description. So if you guys are not using Ludipress or anything like that, you kind of know what you're looking for, right? If you got something that's good. Obviously, not every single item is good because there's a lot of pieces to the sets. Like the ceremonial pieces, there's like boots, bracers, gloves, and so on. And the same with the grisly, aboriginal, and uh, the barbaric. So, but some of the items uh, have a decent value. I'm not sure if you guys watched the video that I uploaded on Monday, I believe, where I did my uh, mailbox clean out and I sold a pair of white gloves for like 10K plus and a pair of boots for like 7K, like white, like common quality. So 
if you get these white items, they're going to pop up on your loot price. You're going to have an insane value. You should actually put them up on the auction as role players. They love that shit. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always subscribe if you already haven't. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Until then, guys. Bye-bye.